haven't seen anybody else in weeks. I've been quarantined at home, but still about three people a day tell me I look like Taylor Swift. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it. Yeah, you do. Thank you. It's always less awkward than a no, you don't. In the yeah. <laughs> um, I recently downloaded the app Citizen. I don't know if any of you have had the pleasure of downloading that app yes. um, and getting notifications from it, but it essentially alerts you to crime happening in your area. So you'll get a notification when there's a stabbing, a shooting, <laughs> so relaxing. Um, <laughs> You know, the thing is, before the pandemic, this app used to really stress me out, and now it's like my calm app, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like reading Goodnight Moon. Um, <laughs> it's just so nice to know some people are still working, right? <laughs> um, yeah, but when I first got this app, I used to get really frustrated because I get all these notifications like, man armed with knife man armed with gun. And I think, like, where are all the angry ladies, you know? Like, <laughs> we can't all be auditioning for The Bachelor at once. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, one day, I finally, I saw the alert. It said, woman armed with knife, uh -oh. dancing <laughs> in traffic. <laughs> 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 Which, like, I don't know why they even reported that. That's just the first 10 minutes of any Zumba class in Silver Lake. <laughs> <laughs> so I graduated from uh, college a few years ago. I went to a big research university, but I got the most liberal arts degree possible, which is the long way of saying I'm not good at math. <laughs> yeah, I want to make it clear though, like I really liked math growing up as a kid. Like I wanted to be good at it. I was like, yeah, math, it's like a game. Unfortunately for me, the game it was like was Oregon Trail. Um, <laughs> other kids would like turn in their tests 15 minutes early. I'd be like, did anyone else try to solve for X and like get like dysentery and die? I don't <laughs> But my first semester at college, I took a psychology course called personality, um, which was great. Uh, except then from that moment forward, my transcript read Elkie Tomes, undergraduate, personality, B plus. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by a note from the professor that was like, okay, her grade is not reflective of her true personality, which is more like a like C minus. A minus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, and then there were some recommendations that I take courses like uh, attachment issues theory, the complete history of chilling the fuck out. <laughs> that one was hard because it conflicted with my liberal arts economy class, how to realize most careers aren't fulfilling and move back home in under two years. <laughs> but the thing about it is, like, you can't argue it wasn't a helpful course. Like, my friend Samantha with huge boobs got an A+. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'll be at my day job and my boss will be like, hey, can you run this report? And I'll be like, no. But I can tell you that this is the third thing you've asked me to do today, and that makes you a narcissist. <laughs> I'm the uh, office favorite, uh, yeah. But I, anyway, I was a psych major for two years and then I decided to switch to English. So what that means is I learned about what issues I had, but I did not learn how to fix them. Who <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't want to accidentally do that? Um, so, but I loved being an English major, you know? It was like, we're always the first to be like, oh, he can code, well. Have you seen his sentence structure? <laughs> I remember the other week I was out on the highway and my car started making this really weird noise. So I pulled into a mechanic and the mechanic, as he was backing my car into the garage, this whole piece of it just like fell out from underneath. And he was like, oh my God, you are so lucky. Like, you are so lucky that you brought this into Tommy and I. If this had happened to you on the highway, you could be dead. And I was like, oh my God, don't you mean Tommy and me? Like, <laughs> 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 um, but I grew up in a very 
very math science uh, household. Like my mom is actually an accountant. My dad is a retired scientist. They don't support me financially, which is just rude. Um, yeah, they claim to be supportive of my stand-up comedy, but anytime I'm at home, just like telling a story at the kitchen table, my dad will be like, mm, I don't know about this one taking a little long just skip to the end i'm like this isn't a bit this is just how my day was <laughs> it's like giving me one of these my parents had me when they were in their 40s and i would actually describe their parenting style on the whole as consistently behind schedule <laughs> yeah i wore velcro shoes until the fifth grade uh, yeah, you know it's bad when the school bully comes up to you and is like, hey, Tomes, I want to show you how to tie your shoes. I'm like, really worried about you? <laughs> um, <laughs> when I was about 15, my mom came to me and she was like, Elkie, you're a woman now. There's a conversation we need to have. And then she taught me how to ride a bike. <laughs> Finally, my senior year of college, my mom found an article in the newspaper entitled, Your Teen Actually Wants You to Talk to Them About Sex. And she cut it out, wrote in the margins, Am I Too Late? And mailed it to me at college. <laughs> I love the little echo I have here. I feel like God. So I got this article. <laughs> And I wrote, yes, and mailed it back. And that was our entire Birds and the Bees talk. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You've been absolutely lovely. My name is Elkie Tomes. Woo! 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 Woo!